back to the vlog once again. Today is now Friday. Woohoo! What day was it? Yes, exactly. Welcome to our second day here in Liverpool. Um, wet and cold day here today. We were planning to go to Southport today, but that's unfortunately not happening because the weather is horrible outside. So we're going to try and find more things to do here today. We're going to try and do something different today instead of going to the same places. So we also the last two vlogs, guys. We went to Liverpool's ground yesterday and also travelled here yesterday. Uh, we saw the new statue being unveiled at Liverpool's ground and also a stadium tour. Uh, go back and check those videos out in the channel, guys, and the last one's in the description below. And anyway, what are you doing? Nothing. We were going to go to Chester, guys, but the weather has just got worse. So we decided we're not going to go. We're going to go back to, we're going to, go to Chester sorry, in the summer. So we are, but we're here currently starting off this morning's vlog here in Liverpool Lime Street. He's a really cool hair, that guy over there, Hamley. Hi. Gotta show you that guy's hair. One me second, Liz. That guy's hair is really cool. He's got the full, like, fro going on there. Yes, Liz, good morning. Say, um, can we go to Pine Bakery? Yeah! Let's so. Yeah! Get some breakfast. Can we show Hamley. my new coat? Yes, but I actually went shopping yesterday, guys, after the Liverpool um, tour. And Brooke got herself some new coat. She's got a new coat. I'm not wearing mine. Her new boots are in the... Uh, the guest house back there, so. Yeah, I'll show them there. Anyway, guys, yes, good morning. Wet and cold, miserable day. Horrible day. So, we're going to find different things to do today in Liverpool. Um, Run. What? Sorry, that girl was running. I was trying to encourage Oh, okay. Is that Run? So, let's get this day started. I hope you're all doing well back home as well. People who are watching from back home. Uh -huh, I hope everyone's enjoying school. Half They're only half day, but still exactly. have fun. Right, let's get outside in this cold, horrible day. Take loose the Pound Bakery. I'll I need a coffee. Tea. Tea. Coffee and sausage rolls. Coffee and sausage rolls for me. No. Ah yes. Tea and pizza. No. Sausage rolls in the morning. Pizza. I suggested that Lewis is going to turn into a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Pizza. Teenage mutant ninja turtle. I think that's all they eat. Pizza. No comment. Anyway, guys, let's get this Freddy's vlog started. Happy enough, man. What's here you offer? Yes, what would you get? Chicken nuggets. What? For your breakfast? Are you mad? Why? I seriously don't know why he does that. Why? Why do you get sausage rolls? Because there was sausage rolls. There was sausage rolls with plenty. I have no day. Oh my goodness. What's he like? Ricky's desperate on me? You're a chancer, so you are. He's bringing me in here on her, trying to get more Liverpool merch off me. Doing my head on. He's looking at these jackets here, which are really, really nice. Unfortunately, that one doesn't fit him. But this one here behind did. So what do you think that one there? It's quite nice, isn't it? And it's down from 55 to 40. It's quite a nice jacket, actually. Show it over, let me see. It's the one, I think it's a wee bit big on you, what do you reckon? Well, it's actually alright, isn't it? Yeah. You'll go into it, because you'll be going in the next sort of six months or so. Oh. I feel like that scene from Wayne's World. You know where he stands in front of the big glass case and sees the guitar, like. She will be mine. Oh, yes. She will be mine. <laughs> Look at the price of it though. 2,700 quid for a Qatar. But this is like a scene from Wayne's World. Did you ever see Wayne's World? You haven't seen Wayne's World? I have, have seen Wayne's World. Where you go, what does he call it? Excalibur Qatar or something? He goes, oh, can I get it out and play it? Can mm -hmm. I go offer a thing like Wayne does and start playing it and stuff? What? That's cool, look at it. She will be mine. Oh, yes. She, I, I would just buy it to have it sit in a glass case in my house. That would be stupid. I can't play the guitar, but it's just a beautiful guitar. I mean, look at these ones right here, too. I mean, 2 9, that one 2 says? brown, one the says. Jimmy Page Mirror. Why does it look like someone from Telecaster. the 90s? The 90s. It looks like someone from the 90s. It's a Telecaster guitar, it's an amazing guitar. Oh, wow, Wait, come right here. Come right here. Look at the signed ones in the wall, look. Is that the hell the same Look. See that one there? The black one? Zoom into it. Look at that. Wow. I like that one. This one? No, that one. The plain one at the very Oh, right, okay. I'm a nihilist one. You know, Grand is looking for a guitar. Yes. Well, Dad, if you're watching Dawson's in Liverpool, no, he's, he you're, com you're coming me. here for Valentine's Day weekend, sorry, with Mum. So come to Dawson's here in, in Liverpool. And no, he's already looking for some at home. Look at the guitars hanging in there on the wall in there. Look. All the way out of the wall. See them all? I want to go in, but you won't let me. I'm not taking you and your brother in the music shop, it'll end up, you will wreck the place and end up like four grand in debt. No. Not a mission. Here. You like your keyboard at home? You only see these ones. Mm -hmm. uh, one's That's only three hundred pounds. Yeah, these are all beautiful. Oh my goodness, only three hundred. One behind it. 
my proper piano, 900. Look at them guitars on the wall, look at them. So Dad, yes, Dawson's in Liverpool. It's actually just across, you come down past Primark and then down to the left. It's actually around the corner from Greg's. So come and check it out, that when you hear my mum, right? Let's go before I get tempted to take these in there because I don't have to get myself a little debt because of you breaking stuff up, especially your brother with guitars. Well, it's in a relevant now. Because we're going into this store, this has been one they went to for months. Bashing my ear about it for months and months and months. So she is, so here we are. Into the van store. Do uh, my head in, young lady. What have you found now? The Nightmare Before Christmas. The Nightmare Before Christmas vans? Yes. Well, I was looking at these ones up here. Snowman. <laughs> Snowman. And we see here, Christmas ones as well, which is actually quite cool. Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh my goodness. One wee second, Liz. Do I have these ones? Cats. <laughs> Seriously? No, it's bad. Look at these ones here, these are quite cool. They are. The way they're reflecting the light. They're nice too. Uh, yeah, there are some nice ones. Where are more nice ones you found a minute ago? These ones? Yeah, they're only 30 quid, they're not too bad like so. There's another pair up here you were showing me a second ago, where are they? Where are these? So, not these ones. Uh, you see them Nightmare Before Christmas ones? They're actually really, really nice. Are they? Oh my god, look at the inside of the shoe. Nightmare Before Christmas. It's actually really, really cool. There's some more here on sale. Really, really cheap down price. Like, like sometimes I'll just 30 and 40 pound off them all. Same ones for your size, neighbor before Christmas and your size too. Let me see what she's taking me now. Where are you taking me? Oh, here we go. More. More, 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 more. To the women's ones. Hmm? These are the women's ones. Women's ones? What's them ones? About 70 quid probably are they? We'll change of plans. We were sitting talking amongst ourselves. And we've decided we're going to Birkenhead. So we're going to take a wee in the Birkenhead and see what's happening over there today. So we are, so, um, I'm going to Birkenhead. When's the last time we were in Birkenhead? Yeah, Apart yeah. from coming off the boat. Um, like the time we stayed, probably. But you, but you will over a year ago. It was near the summertime. It was near the summertime. It was near the summertime. It was like well over a year ago. It was near the summertime, Birkenhead. It wasn't when we stayed there. Well, we stayed in Birkenhead, but after that, the last time we were actually in the wee city centre. Yeah. Or town centre, that we want to call it. So. We're now here in GM Street train station, waiting on so the train. Like the train's like a minute. Do you get the tickets there, yeah? The train's oh. here now. Where's the train coming now? That was quick. <laughs> here comes the train, guys. And um, yes, we're heading to Birkenhead now, so I just want to go over there and try something different. Plus, it's, it's not too far from the train station, but you don't get wet either. Here comes the train now. Didn't take us long, were you? Well, just already sat down, the train arrived. Look. Day. Like 30 exactly. Here we go. Just arrived in Birkenhead. Some beautiful buildings here in Birkenhead, isn't there? But here, we just saw. <laughs> Do you want to film? Uh, I find something that's going to inspire my new style. No, she looks like a clown. She looks like Coco the clown no, from. No, it's a what do you call? My new style. Not that I have any problem with anybody the way they dress or anything like that there, but like. Oh, she had a red hat, green and blue hair. Blue hair. Green and blue. Oh, it looks blue. Then she had, a, she had a bright yellow furry jacket on with what was it, black what was it, trousers, blue green, trousers. Green. And then red shoes. Black shoes. Are you colourblind? No, she had red shoes. It was black shoes. Okay. They were black platforms. Multicolour. That's one person you would not. Sorry, you wouldn't miss. That's inspired. In a blackout. No, that's inspired my new style. I'm going to start dressing like that. You dress like that, you'll be getting the boot in the bum. No, you said or I'll be sending you off to the circus. You said you have no problem with other people dressing. I'll be sending you off to the circus. What? You are flying after all. Shut up. <laughs> you are. Thank you. You're my father. <laughs> no, I ain't no clown. Well, if I'm a clown. But anyway, one of the more serious things. Check out this view here, guys. Where we are here in Birkenhead. At least it rains off anyway, because it was raining there for a while. Yeah. What was? What are you saying yay for for the rain? No, it's a it's away. Oh, yeah, it's away, right? Okay. It's beautiful here in Birkenhead, though, isn't it? Here, imagine living in one of these, well, obviously some of these are businesses, but imagine living in one of these big houses right here. Very, very pretty and very beautiful. Right, we're going to head into town. I mean, there's There is, there's plenty to do. There's shops. Here, I Brooke even agreed with this, which was quite surprising. We, was it last year we went to this little gaming shop that sold all this retro gaming stuff, like old consoles, games, stuff that you haven't saw for a long, long time. And the guy was talking to Brooke in their day, what was he? He had a broken nose or something at the time, we didn't he? before. Yeah, he had a broken nose or something at the time. Plus here, that music shop's facing him as well, the one with the keyboard you sit in the window. No, can we actually go to a music shop, please? <laughs> as long as it's not Dawson's and you're not wrecking the place. <laughs> but yes, we're going to take a wee trip back in that store and hopefully show you some of the stuff that's inside it, if it's still open. 
I'm going to try to find Maybe guy. here. Lewis, do you fancy picking up a retro console today? Yeah. I've got to find that guy. Let me see if his nose is okay. Not do that. Well, obviously it was over a year ago, so I assume that he is okay. What? It was it, it not be that. Was there not new consoles as well, is there? Well, there is new consoles too, yeah. He was talking about all these games yeah. and somebody yeah. was recommending like scary games to me because that's what I like to play. Was he, he was talking to you about the old PS1 games and all two as well, wasn't he? And all the old stuff from back in the day, so... Um, what I did see yesterday in Mankind, or yesterday, Lewis got a new mouse, by the way, a new gaming mouse in there for his laptop, or which is just amazing. Um, the new, they brought it to re try they re-brought it to Mega Drive again. Now, I know we got that one before, but I found it was, I didn't find it was quite good. But they brought the new one and it has the old controllers and all with it as well. Um, it has a Mickey Mouse, like, kind of, like, hmm? it had, like, a Mickey Mouse kind of Sonic thing thing. Ah, uh, but it has, like, 20 games built into it. Mm. Even though we use that app on our Fire Stick back home to play the games, which is even good too, as well, so. <laughs> Oh, there's an old-fashioned phone box. Oh, can I go in it? We'll get a photograph taken inside it, if I'm it's still open. I'm gonna try ring Nami from it. No! Huh? She's no ways. She couldn't help herself, could she, Liz? Let me see. Hello. Who are you phoning? Um, well, if you give me 60p, I'm gonna try ring Nami. How much? 60p. Is that what it says in the wall back there? Behind? What the? 60. 60p to make a phone call now? Uh, yes. What on earth? How long do you get to? Uh, if it's a mobile, you're probably talking maybe about a minute or if you're lucky. Can we try ring Nani, please? Please, no. please, 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 please. No. And tell her we're ringing her from a phone box. It was so cool. <laughs> Not today. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> you're not wise. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Too bad. Right, the weekend shop should be still just looking up there somewhere. I don't know where it is up there. Isn't it? There's that music shop we're looking at. The new gaming shop should just be up there, and that's one of the first top of the blue, is it? Just up there? Mm -hmm. Want to go this music shop? Yes, please. Okay. What have you found? Oh, pianos and big ones. The size of that one compared to the one you have at home. Look at here. Look at these guitars and drums and stuff. Yes. What do you think in here? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's just Look at the guitars. My goodness me. So many. Ricky, you just stuck your head down a second there. I want to get a close up of that one over there. Look at that one. A big white one on the wall up there. Wow. Beat. You take your head down towards. Wow, look at the collection in here. All right. I'm listening behind you. I'm behind you listening. Just showing some of these guitars off. Wow. Join yourself, or? Somehow I don't think that's you playing, is it? Um, you learn how to play really fast, have you? Yeah, Bricky's playing better than you are. <laughs> well, fun from the music shop, buy time for the gaming shop. Well, good start to feeling in the shop here. Make two Mega Drives. We've got a Dreamcast, keyboard, and a Resident Nintendo in the box. My goodness me. Look at this here, it's impressive. My god. More original PlayStations. And look at that brick. PlayStation is doing all the pedals for a fiber. Unreal. Second Master System 2. Look at this. Oh my god, a big controller back in there. And look. 32X Mega Drive. Oh, Breaking out all the old Saturn games too as well. Tony, if you're watching, he's only raising he's not here. Why are you playing a like Dreamcast keyboard? <laughs> that was out before you were born. What are you looking at now? DS. How much are they going for? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Did you pay for your book? Yep. Forget ourselves about this. You can read it for a while. I want to keep reading. Read it in school at the moment. This is what, see, I got a co copy for, for two quid. This is. It's David Williams, too. I know, he's, he's good. His books are awesome. Just left the gaming shop. Get my bag. They're all excited. Managed to get this bad boy. Hold the camera for a second there. Turn it around for me. One wee second. Yes, we're going to go in there. I want to go in there too. Look. Oh Look. Limited edition. Come to a shirt too. And look at how much it was. A tailor. Does you say it come to a shirt? Yeah. I don't know. There's there. I was doing some reviews of it on YouTube. Is it like a super kick off game that I used to play years ago? But yeah. Okay, I don't know. He's not going to another gaming shop. We're not going to the gaming shop. We're going to go to another shop here to have a look around. But yeah. I'm really happy with that. So I am too. Who shops you away, I think? It's better not be another game anymore. It's not. Let's go and have a look and see what it's up to. 
go to the meat market here and see if we can find it here. I haven't been in this part of Birkenhead before. Mmm, smell that lovely smell of fish. <laughs> well, here, look at that, right? Such a liberty. Look. Smell the fish, it's lovely. Oh, that's seafood. Oh, you're walking on the left door sign there. Smells lovely. We'll try up here first. We'll work our way down here and right across down here. What is it? What's all the. Oh, let's come and have a look anyway. First, we'll have a look first. Let's go. Let's see what's up here. Let's walk us through here, guys. Show you the fucking head market. <laughs> Both of these are covering your nose. <laughs> it's only fish. Look at this. Pretty cool here, pretty cool over there, look. Cutting all the fresh meat up. I don't buy type of food stock. What's that? Look, it's this way. What do you see? What are you for? Oh, cakes. Ah, why am I not surprised? Let's have a look. Ah. Very nice. Why, why am I not surprised? Because she wants to eat rubbish. He's found a very old school contraption here. The old weighing scales. You used to pay 20, well, 20 pence to get on to now. And you weigh yourself. It's only 50p for a cookie. Why does it? Oh, it? Why does it no. Well, because you haven't put your 20 pence in. You want to put 20 pence in and get weighed? Yeah. Oh, she's taking everything off. They're not ways. You're going to stand on the two. Are you going to get a 20 pick? Come on. <laughs> Just to get weighed. You know when you get... What does he weigh? Weighing at 240 pounds. Four stones. Just under five stone. Okay, guys, so it was this really cool like t-shirt stand. We're in the corner they have like Logan Paul stuff. Billy Eilish. They have really cool YouTube goodies. All we need to get them. Yeah. Some really nice ones up there. What was it, the one you showed me says? Bald guy or something? Uh, just another sexy bald guy, that's what you think you are. No, I don't. It's me there, it's the perfection. Not. <laughs> I don't, I don't want for your granddad. I don't want to, I don't have to. You can't make me, I'm retired. <laughs> Dad, that one's for me. Billy Gaff. Ah, no, it is not. It's Frig. The end. Ah, you wish. Just come out of this wee door area and look at this. More market stalls. This place is huge here, Brooklyn. Reminds me of. Come here. It reminds me of a variety of little boy. Some markets in Belfast and stuff. It's huge in here. I didn't actually realise how close the market was here to the shopping centre there. Where all the shops and stuff are in the big shopping centre. So the market in there is amazing. It reminds me so much of growing up as a kid. The old, the old style markets and stuff. You don't like the smell of the fish. But it was actually really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Mum and Dad, if you're watching the vlog, you need to come over to Birkenhead because those markets now are fantastic. We're going ahead and head to the permit shopping centre where we're down there, guys. This is really busy. And then I've got to go all the way down there as well. And all the way at the front too. So there's loads still to do. The shops in here were like getting done up the last time we were in here, but they're all seem to be back open again. And the place is busy. My goodness. I really do believe, Brick, that your nanny and granddad would like Birkenhead. What? A dummy? What? Oh. Like that. Uh, you the dummy in the window? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, right? We gotta go and find a bathroom here, and then we're gonna head around this big shopping centre, and then back out there, there's more shopping around here. This girl's getting her nails done. That's actually makeup. Or makeup, whatever it is. You really don't know the do you? I do, but I just don't do it. So I don't do makeup, I don't do nails, and I don't get my hair done, because I ain't got no hair. Guys, welcome back to the uh, guest house. We're standing here in, in Liverpool. Um, I'm decided I'm going to split the video footage that I got from today into two videos because we did record quite a lot in Birkenhead today. So this is going to bring us to the end of part one um, of this vlog um, where you see us in Birkenhead doing a bit of shopping throughout the markets and doing all our different bits and pieces as well, guys. Um, in the second part of the vlog, you're going to see us continue our afternoon in Birkenhead. Um, I just didn't want to drag out the video too long. Um, so it's just, there's a lot of footage recorded that I actually didn't realize how much I recorded in Birkenhead today, guys. So this is going to bring us to the end of this vlog. Stay tuned for part two. Um, Lewis gets a little bit of a special Liverpool treat, should we say, in the second part of the vlog. So stay tuned for that. So if you enjoyed this first video um, where we spent our Friday afternoon in Birkenhead, 
drop a like on this video also hit subscribe below and don't forget to hit the post notification bell to get yourself notified before there's any vlogs out here on the channel and before i do go as well guys i've got a special offer i want to tell you today for this weekend only free delivery for uk orders in the moor army merchandise store go to the link in the description below place your order for the moor army merchandise and get yourself some free delivery for your merchandise to you this weekend which ends on sunday so until the next one guys i'll see you all soon thanks for watching